Okay, so Ms. Kill, you know, you get, you got this book here, large print, it's written large print because, you know, I don't have my reading glasses right now, so I appreciate that you have a large print book here. <laughs> Thank my friend who gave the book to me. You got some good friends, they understand. <laughs> <laughs> it says, women of the Bible for women of color. Okay, I'm not a woman of color, but I saw the book, I got to read what the women of the Bible, the women of color are knowing about the women of the Bible. And this is this particular thing on page uh, 160 is Mary Magdalene. Uh, who put this out? Urban Spirit. Urban Spirit. There must be some sort of urban spirit. You know these people, Urban Spirit? They have no. Oh, this is good. This is, must be all right. Oh, 2021. Hey, pretty close. Okay. Urban Spirit, LLC, All Rights Reserve, No Part of Blah, 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 Blah. Good photo for Beverly Olive and a bunch of Marianne. Da, da, da. Okay, great. So anyway, we're on page 160. It's only, it's like a page, a page in a, oh, oh I'm messing up. Oh, I think I lost some of your bookmarks. You gonna be picking it up? I'll find it. You gonna, I, you gonna beat I, me I got up? it checked in the paper. The ones I probably have written. I'm gonna put it, I'm putting this. Marion plagued by jealousy. I'll put it. I'll put it in that one. That sounds like a good one too. But it's a beautiful uh, cover here. It is. I, I like the colors. I like the colors because a lot of times people put stuff, you know, mm -hmm. and don't compliment black people. You know, what I mean? but these are some rich black tones here. This is really good. So anyway, so but I'm just saying the large print is really probably only a page. But now I, I'm gonna read it. Not for you because you read this thing already, didn't you? Read it. No. I haven't read the whole the, book yet. You didn't read the Mary Magdalene part? I didn't read. I have read about her, but I didn't read it in that book. From this point of view, from 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 uh, from a woman of color point no. of view. Oh well, let me help you out. Yes. Let, me, let, uh, let, let the let the man let the black man read to the black woman. Here we go. I am listening. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Magdalene. And you spell her name, her last name, well, Mary, M A R Y, M A G D A L E N E. I like that Magdalene thing. Okay. Setting her reputation straight. That's what got me the subtitle. Setting her reputation straight. That means a lot of stuff. It means a whole bunch of reputation. Okay, let's find out what's going on. Mary Magdalene is specifically mentioned 14 times in the Gospels. Now, let me, see, let me just interpret this for you, right? See, for, I'm into numerology. So when you give me the number 14, right? One and four is five. In numerology, five is a number of excess. So when he says she's named 14 times in the Bible, he says, oh, she mentioned a lot. Excess, okay. On nine occasions, she is in the company of other women. And the fact that she is usually named first suggests that she more than likely played a leadership role among Jesus' female followers. Oh, she liked the... No, I'm not gonna say nothing like that. That I'm, I don't want to. I want to. Um, I want to. I don't want to give her more. Yeah, right, I'm gonna keep on going. All four gospels note. Four gospels means the 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 the, the New Testament. Like, was that? Yeah, was that? Uh, uh, Luke, John. Uh, uh, Matt, not Matthew. Who's? Uh, yeah. Luke? Matthew. Mark. Mark. Luke, yeah, okay. Oh, I was I, I was gonna get three out of the four. Wow. Okay. Um, all four gospels note that Mary was among the witnesses. Of Christ's resurrection. Oh no! So she was at the crucifixion and the resurrection. Oh, okay. And depending on which gospel you are reading, either Jesus or an angel commissioned her to go and tell the disciples that he had risen from the dead. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll make a comment. No, let me start with this comment. I got a comment, right? When 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 Jesus was hung up, it's the women were around him, right? He's resurrected. The women were around him, right? Mm. Now he had he had what twelve dudes or whatever that we followed all, all the time. There wasn't no place around when he was getting crucified or we was they, they split. It's only the women that hung out. That's man. That's a poor show. <laughs> so, I suppose I can see him on the course. Instead of saying father, they know what they you say. Hey, yo, where are my boys at? Where, where, where they go? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey, mama, you see my boys? Uh, uh, Mary, but, but, look. Look, if I get out of this, Mary, I'm, I'm going to charge you with telling my boys that, you know, they were sort of wanting in my thing. That's what I would say. Anyway. <laughs> um, and depending on which gospel you're reading, either Jesus or angel, a commission well, from, risen from the dead. Thus commissioning to go and tell is an affirmation for contemporary women. Jesus was and is intentionally gender inclusive. 
establishing the place of women in the proclamation of the gospel through Mary. Mary made the gospel? Is there, or just her good news? Good, uh, news. Gospel means good news. Okay. Well, see now, this woman who, who wrote this thing, this woman who wrote this, oh, uh, who wrote this book here, she being kind. Like I said, she being kind to dudes. I would like, I would say, you just need to mind. Let me lay it along. Okay, here we go. Um, but who was this woman before her encounters with Christ? Oh, yeah, who was she? That's a good question. Some have said she was a prostitute. If Mary was indeed a prostitute, to have omitted this important fact from her title is contrary to the way in which biblical writers typically reported in the stories of the scriptures. And then it gives some sites, some cases, like in the case, the point is the a Rabib of the Old Testament woman, see Josh, somebody, somebody said, who is listed in the New Testament on the faithful servants. She never escaped from the stigma of being a prostitute. Well, I hate to tell people, but look, can I say something? I mean, I have a little bit more to read, but I have to, I have to do this little aside. People think this is wrong when I'm saying this. See, now, you know how they say the, the, the fruit fall, doesn't fall far from the tree? Right. Okay. Now, when I was little, right, people, I should say little, when I was running this, when I was run, okay, now, Ms. Kiel, I know you're a Christian woman. I'm going to try to clean this up as much as possible, right? <laughs> but when I was Tell running, like when I was running the women, people would say, oh, you're, you're blah, blah, you're this and that. And I'm going to say, I thought the fruit doesn't fall far from the tree. Do you realize my mother had six has seven children, six different fathers. My mother, my father was the only one that was a one night stand with the mother, with my mother. What does that mean? That from both sides, my mother and my father, I didn't fall far from the tree. What, what do you want from me? I'm trying to reform myself. I've, I've been successful, but I'm just saying when I was in that life, you see what I'm saying? So for me, the stigma of being a so-called prostitute, given that my mother had seven children with six different fathers, there was twins in there. I'm going like, I have nothing against what you call a loose women, prostitutes, nothing like that. People do what they do when they have to do it. You take somebody, let, let's take somebody famous that people might know or may not know. Elizabeth Taylor, but she had like how many husbands? Oh, yeah. But back then, you, okay, back in your day, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something, mm -hmm. right? Let me ask you this. Because I read several books, like I read uh, when uh, uh, Mary Wilson's autobiography, I think even uh, uh, Tapari LaBelle's autobiography, they would say back then, they were, people were dating. They were dating. Now, back with Elizabeth Taylor, they, they, they had to get married. So if you get married six or seven times, isn't that the same as, okay, maybe it's not the same as being a prostitute because prostitute means you get money for it, but I don't know. Let me go on. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, more important than the fact that Mary Magdalene is presumed to have been a prostitute is the condition from which Jesus liberated her. Ah. Now there's something to think about. So Jesus liberated her from me. Well, that's what, well, that's what, let me say. She had been possessed with seven demons, seven demons. In fact, mentioned in both Mark 16, 9 and Luke 8, 12, uh, two of the four uh, gospels. Old Testament scholar Renita Weems is just a sister away, San Diego, somebody, whatever, 1988, ventures to name those seven demons using names that collectively describe mental, emotional, spiritual conditions that women of all ages have struggled with. This is really interesting. You know, so Jesus released her from these, these demons. They say seven, but these demons, and since he released her from the demons, she no longer had a demon. So she was like, okay, I like that interpretation. Okay. So uh, they were depression, fear, low self-esteem, doubt, procrastination, bitterness, and self-pity. Oh, these are the seven ones. They were depression, fear, low self-esteem, doubt, procrastination, bitterness, and self-pity. How many women today have all those things? Yes, yes. Wow. This is heavy. Okay, okay, okay. Um, uh, uh, struggle with. Use the depression fear. Da, 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 da. Uh, would have add to uh, um, uh, um, procrastinate bitterness and self pity. We could have, we could add to this list jealousy, guilt, envy, discord, idolatry, and unforgiving spirit. But the great uh, uh, physician touched Mary 
Yeah, I guess the great physician touched Mary Magdalene and made her whole. She became a leader among women, a proclaimer of the gospel to the apostles and evangelists. Evangelical? Evangelist. Oh, evangelist. I don't read the Bible much. You know, I mean, I do, I do have my Bukala Bible, but you know. Evangelist to the marginalized and the servant of God's and a servant of God's kingdom. For all women, Mary Magdalene is a model of a wounded person who uh, was headed, who was healed, who a wounded person who was healed and made whole by the love of Christ and called and commissioned to him to serve his kingdom. This is Kay Johnson who wrote this. Who's Kay Johnson? Who's Kay Johnson? Kay Johnson. She the one who wrote the whole book? Well, anyway, they got Kay Johnson here as a as the author of that. So anyway, so that's the thing, and then they had this issue, this uh, quote on this thing. What issues do you struggle with? Oh, uh, take them to Jesus. Ask for God's guidance and wisdom to bring about your healing. And then you have a bunch of things to read: Matthew, Mark, uh, Luke, and John. Oh, the ones that that she cited and that Mary Magdalene cited. Well, there you go. That was very yes. nice. Mary Magdalene. She got rid of her demons. I guess through Christ, but she got rid of her demons, demons nonetheless. Well, I'm I'm glad you let me read that. You know, I mean, I'm not the most perfect reader in the world, but then again, who's perfect? I could say it and listen to some more reading. <laughs> no, you're not going to have me read this whole women. This for women. You got to find yourself a woman to read. <laughs> Women's need to stick together. Read this thing. I done did my little contribution. You know, that's it. Okay, thanks a lot. I'll talk to you later.